Hi TikTokers, I'm sorry, but if you want to see this whole video with all the directions, please come see us on YouTube or on Instagram. On Instagram, we are la underscore chigala underscore culinary and on YouTube, la chigala one. I'm sorry, but TikTok cuts us off at 10 minutes and I just couldn't get it all in. I am still learning this and also all these influ influers, influencers are absolutely gorgeous. This is me, it's reality. I don't know how to use those filters. I'm learning. So this is real life. I'm not a big makeup person, so uh, sorry. <laughs> but come join us on uh, YouTube and on Instagram. We'd love to see you and you'll get all the directions for the best turkey gravy you ever had. See you soon. Good morning and welcome to the Chicala Kitchen. So Thanksgiving is rapidly approaching and for us, it's going to be a very quiet one. It looks like it's just going to be me and Mr. Chicala this year. All my kids are busy on their own. They're all over the country. Um, so it's gonna be a very quiet one. I don't think my daughter and her boyfriend are gonna be here this year, um, but still a little bit of planning to do. It's going to, I'm definitely not doing a big massive meal just for the two of us because we're gonna be re getting ready for Christmas. I'm so excited for Christmas this year. Um, I am going to have two of my boys here. <sighs> my heart, my heart is exploding. Um, so I'm really, really excited for that. But today I am going to be making gravy because that's a non-negotiable and I will stick that into the freezer. So come make gravy with us. I have turkey wings. If you have any other turkey parts, you can throw them in here too. I have them in a roasting pan. A couple of onions, salt and pepper. Ovens at 400. This is going to go in there for about an hour to an hour and a quarter. Um, you want the turkey to be roasted nice and brown on top. And then um, we'll come back and I'll show you what to do. It'll be simmering in a pot. Now, when I was in New York, I used to have no problem finding the better than bullion turkey base. I could not find that here in North Carolina. But I did find turkey broth. So that's what I'm going to be using because I don't want chicken stock, I, which I have obviously my chicken stock in the freezer. I want a turkey flavor for my turkey gravy. So I will be using that. Um, to simmer and get a deep, rich turkey gravy. Um, let me know in the comments what you're making for Thanksgiving, what your side dishes are. We traditionally always make an Italian wedding soup that was started by my daughter-in-law. She always requested it. I think this year I might break that tradition. It's only going to be the two of us. Uh, rather than make that big pot of soup, I have some homemade pumpkin tortelli pasta in the freezer, and I might make that instead. Um, if my daughter and her boyfriend were here, I would make a tray of my cornbread because they go crazy for that. So I don't know if I'll make that. I might make dinner rolls, um, but we'll see. I haven't quite finished up the menu yet. Um, but hope you are all having a wonderful week and planning for your Thanksgivings with your families and friends. So come back. Um, this is going in for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, and we'll see you then. Okay, so this has been an hour and 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Everything's nice and brown. We're going to put it in a nice big Hot. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Now, 
while I'm doing this, let's talk about another non-negotiable for Thanksgiving, even for Italians, would be the turkey. So last week while I was grocery shopping, I looked in the bin where they were selling turkeys and I almost had a heart attack. A kind of medium sized turkey was going for $68. I literally almost had a stroke and I have a pacemaker. I wanted to die. So yesterday I saw that Walmart had them for $1.28 a pound. I have never bought a turkey at Walmart ever, ever, ever. So I arranged a Walmart delivery, which is something else I've never done. And I wrote in the comment section, get me one as close to 10 pounds as possible because they said, you know, 10 to 18 pounds. It's only gonna be me and my husband. I'm one of the smallest ones. So the delivery came in perfect. I said, we're gonna get, you know, a 14, $15 turkey. Awesome. After $68, I thought, yay me. They delivered a 15 pound turkey. We're gonna have so much turkey in the freezer, but Hell, I'm not paying $68 for a turkey. Anyway, all this stuff is in this pot. We're doing good. I'm adding six cups of that turkey stock. Now, if you can't find it, chicken stock is fine. My preference is just turkey broth. I chopped up two big carrots. We're gonna be taking these out later. So just scrub them really well. You don't have to peel them. Okay, set it up to simmer. Now, I am putting the heat on under this roasting pan and I am adding a cup of water and I want to get all the little brown stuff off the bottom here. And once I do, I'm gonna throw that in here too. And I'm going to add a little bit of thyme, not a lot. I don't wanna overpower the turkey flavor, just a little. And I'm gonna let it simmer uncovered for about an hour and a half and really concentrate that turkey flavor. Then we'll be back and I'll show you the next step this is going to be the best turkey gravy you've ever had. I promise. I'll see you in about an hour and a half. Okie doke. So, it simmered for an hour and a half. I thought I was going to burn myself. And I strained out the turkey wings and the carrots and onions. And I'm actually going to pick the carrots out. Nova will have a big treat today. Um, when I'm doing this, when we're having people for Thanksgiving, I triple or quadruple the recipe, but t since this week it's only going to be me and my husband, this will be plenty of gravy for us. Um, so, I have two more cups of turkey stock here. I have three quarters of a cup of flour, and I'm going to whisk that in. And I want to make sure that there's no lumps. I'm going to whisk it in so it's nice and smooth in the cold turkey stock. Okay. This smells so good, guys. And this is still on the heat. And I am going to stir this in slowly. Now, I'm going to bring this to a simmer. And while it's simmering, I'm going to let it simmer for about five minutes while I'm stirring. If you want it a little darker, you can use some Gravy Master or something to make it darker. 
Alexa, alarm off. I had that timer set for something else. So ignore that. After about five minutes, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter, whisk that in, and then I'm going to set it aside to cool. And once it's all cool, I'm gonna freeze it till Thursday, well, actually till Wednesday, then I'm gonna thaw it in the fridge overnight. Now, if you really wanna level this up, stir this into your deep fatted turkey drippings. When you take your turkey, out of the oven, take your turkey drippings, take the fat off, and stir this into your turkey drippings. You can definitely thicken it up a little more with some Wonder flour or a little bit of flour or cornstarch and cold water. Taste it for seasoning. You can add a little salt and pepper if you like. Chef's kiss, mwah. You will have the best gravy ever. Rich, delicious. But it's so nice to have something done in advance, even if it's the gravy. If you have room in your freezer, you can do your sweet potatoes in advance. If you make a mashed potato casserole, you can do that in advance. Whatever you can do in advance. I had six kids and trust me, when the family was all home, anything that could be done in advance made my life easier. Make sure you come back. We will be working on our holiday soup series, on our holiday cookie series. We've got to get those cookies in the mail soon. Have a wonderful, happy week. We will be seeing you soon. Please like and subscribe to our La Chicala. Um, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. You will really be helping me out. The algorithms require that you engage, which means leaving a comment. Um, TikTok is killing me. They are shutting me down at a certain point and I just can't get past it. I'm doing this to help my family, so I would really appreciate. See you soon and I hope you enjoy. Have a wonderful week.